It's your boy, Poetic Flacco. Anywhere you go, anybody, you know, somebody got to know me. We're back again with another one, folks. Now, check it out, man. People, the niggas are at it again. <laughs> I cease to be amazed by these niggas. Now, if you've ever played youth football or Pop Warner in the hood, you're going to relate to this story. Now, playing Pop Warner and youth football as a kid in the projects, you get used to certain things, like coaches bringing their six foot five. 230 pound 17 year old son to play with 14 and under some of those things you just sort of accept because everybody was doing it but i never thought in my wildest dreams i couldn't hypothesize my nigga cuticles couldn't predict that a negro will bring his tactics to a national stage people this <laughs> never ever ever could i have guessed that a negro would be bold enough brazen enough to bring his tactics to a national stage on ESPN. Now, if you're also having a tough time envisioning a Negro being brave enough to bring those tactics to a national stage, let me introduce you to Roy Johnson. First off, here's a picture of Roy Johnson enjoying them folks' ice cold, delicious Gatorade after scamming them, man, with no remorse in sight and no emotions on his face. As a matter of fact, he looks happy. This picture becomes even more bizarre once you find out that Roy Johnson is casually drinking Gatorade on the sideline of a national television game, all the while having a warrant out for his arrest for fraud charges in Ohio. This man was on the run coaching a national televised game. This man takes the K for Negro of the Year. Now, people, let's get to why people are outraged, all right? So, Roy Johnson has a school called Bishop Sycamore. Right now, he claims it's a charter school, is a prep charter school. However, the school isn't registered with Ohio. The school has a website. It's a damn near a WordPress site. It's a blog site that pretty much just posts up random ish about their football team, all right? You can't tell me how many students attend the school. You can't tell me when the school started, et cetera, et cetera. So simply, the school is a fraudulent school, all right? Roy Johnson petitioned his fraudulent school to have a nationally televised ESPN game. Now, he petitioned this with the marketing team that set up the games on ESPN. However, they were their last option, right? So apparently, there's this team called IMG Football in Ohio that nobody wanted to face. Apparently, this team here got like nine top 50 players, all right? They're the best team in the state. They're out here watching teams. So every other high school football team said, listen, man, we don't want that smoke on no national TV. We good. However, Roy Johnson team, again, his fake school was the last school who wanted to sign up. So they said, all right, F it, man. Y'all can come on, all right? Now, to get the game on national TV, Roy Johnson told them folks, all right, that his fake school, by the way, nine top 100 recruits in the country, and like 10 of them was going to D1 colleges and got D1 offers. So this marketing team said, hmm, okay, I mean, listen, I mean, I mean, look, it'll make a good matchup. Cool, sign them up. But ESPN started to get suspicious when ESPN started to research their school and said, wait, hold up now, like we can't find none of your players in our top 100 rankings. What are you talking about? And then as they dive deeper, they seen that Roy Johnson and them folks had like 20 GoFundMe's by like 20 different people. So they was like, wait, wait, wait hold up, Shreggy? It looks like the school was being used as a come up, right? It was already suspicious before game day. So on game day, when the Bishop Sycamore showed up, ESPN got really suspicious, right? Because first off, they showed up with a team of like 30 people, all right? And they all had on like mismatching helmets, mismatching uniforms. They look unprepared. They look like this was some grade A Negro shit, all right? Trust me, the most egregious part is coming up next. But first, let's just listen to what the announcer had to say when they seen Bishop Sycamore on the field. Bishop Sycamore told us they had a number of Division I prospects on their roster. To be frank, a lot of that we could not verify. And they did not show up in our database. They did not show up in the databases of other recruiting services. So it's okay. If that's what you're telling us, fine. That's how we take it in. From what we've seen so far, this is not a fair fight. And, and there's got to be a point now, Lutz, where you do worry about health and safety. I already am worried about it. I, I think it's um, this is this could potentially be dangerous, given the circumstances and the mismatch that we have here. 
And, um, and, and, and quite honestly, Bishop Sycamore doesn't have not only the frontline players, but they don't have the depth in case something were to happen to their roster with maybe a kid or two here throughout the remaining two and a half quarters of this football game. So not only were they getting their butts kicked, right? Getting stomped, getting railroaded off the field. What makes them getting beat by that much to where like people were concerned for their safety? What makes it even worse that it turns out that like half the football team, majority of the football team, I should say, were all grown men. They were like 25 years old and up. They were Juco college dropouts, right? So pretty much this dude, Roy Johnson, brought that grade A Pop Warner Negro shit to a national televised game on ESPN, right? They made a straight mockery out these folks. Now, if you pair this up with the fact that Roy Johnson was trying to raise $20,000 because reportedly he said he got a football team for young black men trying to make it out the hood. All right, he got a prep school for young black men trying to make it out the streets. And he was trying to raise $20,000. That sounds awfully familiar to some hotel Negroes, but I ain't even going to get there, right? So if you pair it up with he already got in charges and a warrant out right now for fraud, pair up with him trying to raise $20,000, one will assume that this right here might be a play to come up. But we don't know yet as the story develops, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Should we come down hard on Roy Johnson? Or was Roy Johnson just trying to put on for the hood? Y'all let me know, man. It's your boy, Poetic Flacco. I'm out of here, folks. Peace. Got a hand out. My brother said, be a stand-up nigga and stand ten toes down. If one way don't work, fuck it. We still got to find a way out.